Let's see how much more complicated things become when we add a log. Remember that when we added a log for bounding above, it added some complications. Let's see if those similar complications occur when we are bounding below. In this case, we're going to start with the given expression, which in this case is log base 4 of 4n squared plus 5n plus 8. Just as we've done in the past, we're going to drop all but the dominant term. So I'm going to drop everything but the 4n squared that's inside of the log. So we're going to drop everything except for the 4n squared. And now comes one of the great advantages to bounding below. We can make this even smaller and make it way easier. If I reduce that 4 to a 1, so I bound this below again and drop the 4 inside of the log and write it as log base 4 of n squared. 4n squared is clearly bigger than n squared for any value of n, positive or negative even. So that is always true by reducing that value. We make it smaller. And now I can use a nice log rule to pull the 2 out front of the log and have log base 4 of n times 2. And we're done. We needed to bound it below by a number times log of n. We have done that. We've bounded it below by 2 times log base 4 of n. So just as before, my constant is 2. And the how big does n have to be is 0 because there is no requirement on n here to make sure that this claim holds.